Hey there guys, Pratish here back with another brand new video and in this video I will be showing you how can you create this chat application just using sockets and python. Now first thing first you will need this kind of socket module. Here is the program basically hi I will type hi and it will return here hi and you can type anything like a then here a. So basically this is the application that we are creating today. So the basic needs is simple just install the sockets. Now open up your CMD, that is command promote, and then type in pip install sockets. Make sure there should be an S at the end and hit enter. After some time, you will be have this sockets. So for me, it is already satisfied. So I will just close it and you can, as you can see, all done. Let's open our Visual Studio code and start coding. So here I am inside my Visual Studio code basically. Let's create up a new file. Name it like host dot py and hit enter. Now here is the code line basically. So first thing first we need to import the socket. You can do it by this. Now after importing socket we need to import the system. And after that we need to import time. So after that been done, here is our import section basically. Let's have a socket. So basically we will create a variable here known as socket. So you can just type. Basically we are creating a variable s which is defined as the socket here. Now next thing is we need to create a host variable. So host equals. So basically in this line of code, we need to get the name of the host that we are starting in our program. So now hit enter. Now there will be a print statement right now. And basically we will be printing that server will start on host. Basically this is the host name. So I need to type here. And there will be your host name. So this is it. Basically we are printing the server name here. Now we need to create a port. You can type one, two, three, four, five, something else. So create a port equals one, two, three, four. Let me take four digit only. And then we need to bind the host with the port so that we can transfer our data. To do this, just type s dot bind. Now we need to bind our host. So just type host alongside with the port. Now we need to print that it is successfully bounded with it. So print statement again and just type in server is bound successfully. So now we must take a single input so that we have a single server. To do this just add dot listen and type in one at the argument because we need only one server to be connected with the host at a time. So now we need to create two variables that are connection and address. Connection and address. Now when there will be connection and address, it will basically accept that the connection should be there. So we can type here as dot accept. So it will basically accept the server to connect with the host. Now alongside with now we have to print that this host or this server has been connected. So let's write print statement. So we are printing the statement that the address variable which we have created in the previous line is connected right now. So now we need to create a loop so that our messaging could be possible for a longer period of time or for infinity loop. So I will just type while and one. Now here our loop started so we need to enter a message. So we need to create a variable here. Now we need to take an input from the user. So basically I will be typing in input. Then this should be in string format. Now it will be printing from my side. It should be you. Basically this is the point where we will be typing our message. So make sure it is inside the quotes. So after that being done, let's encode this because the PC need to be encoded. This format should be in encoded format. 
so that we can decode it and then read it so basically i will be just creating another variable so this is the same variable as message and this time this is a modified one message dot encode now basically this function will encode my messages and then it will just store the value on my message variable here which is same as here so basically this is it so now we need to just connect with them and we need to also connect with the incoming messages so now we need to connect it so c o n n dot send now basically it will send my message to the connected file or to the server basically now we will be creating a simple variable that is incoming message now basically in this code we are receiving the value of the message that has been sent by the server so this is it now we need to just decode it so that we can get the original value so i will be just typing incoming message again equals to now incoming message dot decode basically this will help me to decode the whole stuff that is coming from the server side now we will be printing client message out right there so client so this will be the client message that we are creating that is incoming message so this is it so the whole stuff has been done here that we can now send messages and we can also receive the incoming messages in the decoded format which looks better now we need to save as so control s to save it now create another file here so this time we will be creating a new file name it server dot py and hit enter now you got the code here so this is it now the basic function are same here like this input statement so i will just copy this and paste it here now hit enter now we need to just also the socket function is same also here so basically i will copy it and paste it here so now basically we will be typing the host name so i will be creating a variable known as host host equals now we need to state an input statement here basically so input this should be in string format and then uh, it will be typing like please enter host name something like that so i will be typing right there so here the user will input the host name now we need to define the port also so the port should be same as that previous one that is 1 2 3 4 you can try any one else also so now we will be creating a try loop so in this if the server is connected then it will follow another block that is while block otherwise it will print an error so basically i will be typing here as dot connect now it will be connecting to the host same function as the previous one okay now we are connected so it will try to print it will just print that we are connected so this is it let's come out of the loop and create a accept accept if this has not been done then it will print basically that uh, connection to the server is fail simply so i will be typing here so basically this is a message that will it will print now we need to create a while loop that we have created in this host file basically this is the loop so i am just going to copy it so control c to copy it and paste it here now after pasting it we need to just make sure to adjust some settings here so this will be around here so i will just control x control v and yes so there should be incoming message then it will print something like so i will be just printing message it will basically print this server statement with the incoming message so incoming message basically 
So now after that been done, we need to import. So U should be same and then all the files should be same. Now make sure that it should not be connection dot send here. In this case, it should be as dot dot send. Okay. Now as dot send basically. So I will be just deleting this statement here. So all the things looks great. And this is the chunk of code that you have to type and control s to save it simply. Now, after that been done, we have all the thing set up right now. Now make sure that this should be not connection. This should be s. So you need to set up everything. So s dot receive basically. So everything looks fine right now. I will just save both of these file again. And after saving it, you will be just getting the variable. Now make sure that it is saying that address is not defined. So sorry for that. It should be ADDR. So save it again. And now it is defined. Okay. So everything looks great. Let's run the program and see what are the output basically. So basically these are the files host and server. I will just start in host here and it will be showing that the host has been connected successfully. I will just cope copy this code now start on server and please enter host name so control v to paste it and hit enter now as you can see both are connected now you can type your message like hi it will send it to your server basically so this is the simple program that we have created now you can type any message like anything your name pratyush and it will send it to the another host. So basically this is the program. So we have not designed any GUIs or GUIs for it. Basically we have just focused on the code that is below it. That is from Python side. Now all the housing has been done inside Python. So you can create an installer of these file and simply run it out. So this is it. So hope it will really help you guys. And thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. Goodbye.